Skater Boy, just one of the many hits off of Avril Lavigne's first album that came out way, way, way back in 2002. Yeah. Crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Now you've got the best damn thing. Um, you, you finished, and it's out there, and people are digging it, and it's got great songs on it. Um, what do you think, when you were going through the process of making this album, was this sort of like, you told me earlier that you were completely in control of every mm -hmm. aspect of it. Um, did that give you any sort of pressure, the decision-making process? I mean, you obviously have people you look up to that you can talk to about stuff like that, but, you know, deep down, is it your instinct that kind of guides you through all of this? Yeah, it's just, I usually have a sense of what I want, and then I, I do it, you know? Yeah. Um, I didn't feel any pressure, and I, that's one thing I guess it's a good thing that I have, is I'm really just, I'm a relaxed, chill person, and I... I do things for me, I don't do them for other people, and I, when I make my records and write my songs, I don't overthink, okay. which I think can happen. With this record, I wasn't like thinking, okay, I need singles, what's my first single going to be like? It was like, <laughs> I just wrote a bunch of songs and totally wasn't thinking about it, and I wouldn't have thought that Girlfriend would have been the first single. Really? Are you Because serious? that song was, to me, it was so out there, it was like, I don't like your girlfriend, I think you need it, and it was like, I'm the princess it was like it was just yeah, like a what joke yeah. it was just like really funny and humorous to us when mm. we we're luke and i when we were writing it and i felt like it was so different for me too and it was so bitchy and fun but um it's fun to be able to play funny a character that it's, right and yeah that it's like the first single and i'm glad because I, I love the song and it's so much fun but how yeah. has that changed from the past though like from like, your first two albums um I was 16 on my first record, right. didn't know anything about the music business, and um, basically I had, I didn't know how to express myself sometimes, maybe with the producers, like, I wasn't picking the players or the producers, I just worked with a whole bunch of different people, right. wrote a bunch of different songs with them, and then they were on the record. Now, second record, I was like, pff, working with the producers, going, this is how I want the drums, the guitar sounds and these are the players I want. This record, even more, it was like, you know, I'm not taking pr production, producing credit, but I was like there full on, like nothing. Every single piece of the track, you know, I was just involved with the um, making the track. Well, you know, speaking of choices too, you had the tough task of, of getting a whole new band assembled together for this new album. Yeah. How, how difficult a task was that? Um, it was actually kind of hard because- Was it? Um, I was going for really great players, like pros, mm -hmm. but I also wanted to look cool and be cool. And um, I just, it was weird. Like the people I auditioned, like they were okay, they weren't great. I have to be blown away and I don't just settle, you know? Well, what do you look for? So like I was looking for everyone in the band to have phenomenal background vocals. So that, that's, that's key, so yeah. everyone could sing with you. So you have to be really good. So the guitar player had to be really good, and he had to have great vocals so that when we do acoustic stuff, he could sing with me, and we have to sound good together mm -hmm. with the harmonies. So um, my drummer sings, and he's an awesome drummer, and um, the bass player and my other guitar player sing. And um, Well, they so sound great. They look great. Everyone looks like they're having a ball. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. It's fun to, you know, bring in new people and... And it's bigger. I have a keyboard player now and two dancers back who are also doing background vocals. Um, I know. I want to talk to you about that, mm -hmm. too, when we get a chance in our, hopefully in our next segment, because Avril gets her groove on <laughs> like you've never seen before. But uh, tell me about your new song, um, When You're Gone, because personally, that's my favorite song on the album right now. I love that song. How did it come about? What, well, what made you? Well, um, Butch and I wrote this song together. Butch Walker, and um, it was kind of like, you know, what I like about this song is that it's completely universal and it can mean different things to different people if you break up with someone or if you lose somebody mm -hmm. or if, you know, if you have to leave someone that you love and the, you miss them and just things like that. Um, when you hear this song, Avril, I'm telling you, this song is a huge hit right you, out of the box. I, it's really crazy because played the song and the 
people in the audience. I've seen people crying. Yeah. I've sang it and completely gotten goosebumps. Every time I sing it, my dancers, like, cry. Because they, they're actually not on stage for that song. But, at, like, a lot of people I've played the song for, like, all my girlfriends, have all cried the first time they hear it. Aww. It's like I've never had a song like that before, and it's really intense, and it's intense for me, too, sometimes when I'm singing it. But, yeah, the song is a lot of people have really... A lot of people talk a lot of about people this song. And, yeah, and normally you like the upbeat, fast-paced, yeah. go in your face song, but you don't mind doing that one because yeah. you know how it strikes a chord with people. You know, I love a ballad and a, an emotional song. I love to come out and rock and power through a whole bunch of fast songs on yeah. stage and then come down and just really sing. All right. Well, why don't we listen to it right now? Here is oh. Avril Lavigne's brand new 